and welcome back. 31 years ago, a jailbird flew the coop and lived on the lamb. Well, it was sort of like that anyway. Craig Worth says it was one of his favorite memories of his 50 years of broadcasting. And lucky you, he is live in the studio now to tell us all about it, Craig. Of course, it's the story of Pink Floyd the Flamingo. Yes, a bird. Every year, I just love to report on Pink Floyd. You see, he made good on his escape from the aviary and lived the good life, returning to the Great Salt Lake for years and years. Well, you know you come out here to the Great Salt Lake and you find something's missing, and it's been missing for 14 years. Yes, there really was Pink Floyd, the Pink Flamingo, out here for over a decade of winters. See, it all started at the Tracy Aviary in 1988 on Wing Feather Cutting Day. Pink Floyd was hiding. He was flapping his wings, as flamingos sometimes do, and realized that he could actually take off, probably flew pretty high, and was out of here very quickly. The day after, everyone was speculating. It was pretty obvious what happened. You see, here at the aviary, there had been seven flamingos. Now there were six. Coincidentally, at the lake, there was now one. Prior to the morning, there had been none. Can you imagine being the ranger back then? The first time I saw him, I reported him, and everybody thought I was crazy. You know, they asked me if there was an elephant with him. <laughs> now back to Pink Floyd and his great escape. He went straight up and looked around. Hmm. Well, I suspect once he got above treetop level at the aviary, he could probably see the lake out here, and it probably did uh, look like something that uh, Flamingo ought to belong to. Now here is the issue. These were all flamingos from Chile, and this ain't Chile. And Pink Floyd's family lived on a rare, high-altitude salt lake in Chile. Where in the middle of America could you ever find an inland saltwater lake? But then, the hardest thing of all. You see, Pink Floyd lived on brine shrimp in Chile. Where in America are there brine shrimp? Well, I'll be darned, as luck would have it, brine shrimp. I think he was extremely lucky. Now the aviary got the law in on this great escape. But the flamingo had the upper hand, even though they don't have hands. But people don't have web feet, and web feet were better than hands in this case. We thought long and hard about how we might recapture them, but it all sounded like Keystone Cops to us, so <laughs> we figured he was probably here for the duration. So Pink Floyd joined the other birds. And he was palling around with a goose, a Canadian goose. Now this lasted nearly 17 years. Each summer he went to some mysterious place, but each winter he was back. And he became a national legend. Each year he returned, and each year folks had a new idea of what to do about him. Well, they had a plan, and the plan was to come out here and put all kinds of plastic pink flamingos at the lake. It was a way to keep company for Pink Floyd, and it was a way to try to trap him once again. So they did, and all the good people came out to the lake to watch. And all the good people stole the plastic pink flamingos. There was even a movement to get the state to bring more real flamingos to the lake. Again, it became a national debate, or in this case, a national flap, but not one that Utah wildlife folks thought was real swell or one with a leg to stand on. But then again, by this time, Pink thought that he was a gull, or gulls thought that they were flamingos or something like that, and the aviary gave up and secretly admitted that he had beat the system. And hey, you gotta admire that. We have a great affection for Pink Floyd. We, we would much rather they didn't escape. Then in the winter of 2005, like magic dragons, pink flamingos came no more. But we were all the better for having had him with us in winter. Stories will come and go here at the lake. Legends will be lost. But let us pause and remember a good one. Maybe the best one the legend of Pink Floyd. And like all legends, lots of speculation, such as where did he go in the summer? Now some said Montana, some said they saw him in Camas, 
and some said he was just hiding out on a lawn on 7th East disguised as a pink long flamingo. Okay, I made that up. <laughs> but we do know as the weather turned colder, Floyd was back until the end to all of our enjoyment. The that, one that got away. The, that is an amazing story. Now I know why that's one of your favorite stories in like 50 years of broadcast. Well, sure, that one was, that we gets away, back. beat the system. There's nowhere else that, I mean, Alana, you can speak to the climate. There's nowhere else that this Flamingo could have even lived. Totally made sense. And obviously Pink Floyd, not another brick in the wall. Not that guy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, She's this good. was not the wall. <laughs> this was Pink Floyd and the lake. I like it. It was a good one. Thank a you, classic. Craig. Uh,